You're listening to Force Fed Digital. BXU Heard. Top of the morning, my good listeners. Welcome to another edition of the Auto Bounce Podcast, a collaboration with FourceFed Digital and TURN, the United Ronin Networks. My name is Ralph Anthony Garcia, also known as R4. And on this edition of the Bounce Pod, you already know I would big up bouncers who under the guise of the security guard know all too well what it's like to stand on your feet for hours at a time, no sitting down, not even while we're on a break, if we ever do get a break. And when some of us who have the unfortunate luck of taking the train to our destinations, we can only hope to get to where we got to go in one piece while within those subways. Kids getting shot, and I can already see they're not doing much about that kid who was gunned down by that museum. And how about the one cowardly bastard murdering face who stabbed up those twin girls because they turned down his advances? He deserves a f***ing universal from the entire neighborhood. As a matter of fact, every neighborhood should be after this f***. He actually killed one of them. These are the f***ing assholes we have to deal with here at home without the extra s***. Feel me? These families deserve justice. And that goes without saying, y'all, obviously. Which is why whenever I hear about a perpetrator getting his just desserts, I clap. I clap my hands in raucous applause. We're being invaded while we deal with the slime that's been here terrorizing our streets. So when I see them getting what they deserve, I thank God and I thank karma. You spot a couple who you profiled as immigrants, stare for a few seconds, and then only to turn around and start that what the f- are you looking at? Bullshit. Then start fighting with the guy. His girlfriend pokes the aggressor, causing blood to spill from the guy's backside. Heated, the guy screams, feeling he's been stabbed, reaches for something on the inside of his coat, picks up a gun, then suddenly gets into a wrestling match, resulting in the guy getting shot with his own fucking gun. Fuck a donkey of the week. This motherfucker deserves a year. Lucky for him, the guy is in stable condition, and while the shooter did indeed get arrested for the act, no charges were filed. So he walks. Don't know about the woman in this case, but I bring that up to say this. It wasn't always like this. The lack of respect for human life nowadays forbid me to go out and about aimlessly. If I'm going out, it's to get from point A to point B, do what I need to do, and then see, take my ass right back home. I got too much to lose, y'all. I love my life. I may not have much, but I got a family to lead, so I really ain't got time for foolishness. Before I lose the plot here, let me take y'all back to 2004, where we revisit Metricopolis. So, Make sure you have cash on hand. It's cash only this evening. Coat check is mandatory. No exceptions. Have your IDs and tickets ready, and let's listen in. Here I go, off the head. Ah, I'm going to take you back to Metricopolis. The Admiral and his team, they've welcomed me to their team over there. Cool of them. That's why I met Q. A couple of other guys. I think I met Ross over there, too. Poochie, <laughs> Poochie, one of my favorite guys in the whole damn world, doing our thing over there at Metricopolis. We're setting up the barricades, barricade after barricade. We set up like a good 10 of them, and uh, the velvet ropes are attached to make folks aware where to stand behind, etc. Uh, there's a velvet rope in the beginning of the line to where we let you in onto the line. And this is where we start asking folks for their IDs. And of course, there's got to be that one or two. We ain't come with ID. Well, guess what? You're not coming in. But we came all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. That's too bad. You don't have no ID, no entry. Yo, that's f- 
f***ed up. F*** you mean it's f***ed up? You forgot your ID or you never had ID. Ain't no way we're letting you in when you're undocumented. Nah. What? And then one of the other guys, you know, that's been working at Metricopolis for the longest, I'll call him O. Yeah, O. Pull the guy and his friend to the side. Next, I'm seeing these dudes being waltzed in. I'm like, okay. Apparently, they gave up some money to get inside. It happens. But, wow, was it ever so early for this to happen? Tonight must really be some sh**. I'm working as the floater tonight, and I'm just spinning around the place. As soon as I walk in, boom, ticket office to the left. You handle your business there before you even step into the house. Okay, there's supposed to be a guy standing there, making sure whoever's coming in step to the window and pay their ticket or whatever before coming in. Fine. Then, uh, going inside, there will be a guy next to that door. As soon as you walk in to the door that leads you inside to where the dance floor is, there will be a guy positioned there. Then, going up on the inside where the bathrooms are, there's got to be a guard there making sure that bathroom doesn't get out of control. VIP, another man holding the velvet rope there. VIP area, clean as a whistle. The owner went all out, got himself a bunch of white furniture. <laughs> As if white is the official VIP color. You know, but uh, if you're ordering bottle service and things of the like, I guess you got to be in the most stylish spot in the entire club, right? So that owner went all out and decorated the sh** out the VIP area. So kudos to him for that. Cool. Whatever. We go to the bar. Whenever I look at the bar, I can't help but to feel the concussion that I suffered when I slammed my f***ing head right on that marble. I don't mind telling you, that wasn't fun. And even just talking about it right now, I can feel the f***ing thing, okay? <laughs> That's just the way it is. I guess I may be have just reminded myself to get my head checked. You know, usually when you hear something like that, most would consider that an insult. Me, I'm very glad I reminded myself of what could be constant headaches, the migraines. Sometimes I shed tears out of, out of the blue. Like, they just come out, boom. Then my eyes, they get all dry and whatever. It's a lot, man. It's a lot going on, man. Whoever might have suffered concussions in their life before know exactly what I'm talking about. Back to Metricopolis in this misadventure. I'm the floater today, and from the looks of this crowd, I knew I wasn't going to have too much fun. The energy, the energy that Seventh Sense never lies, right? And I'm smelling the room, and I could tell, I could just tell the energy was not good. You could smell the putrid alcohol. And mind you, it was early in the night. And for some reason, shit was already turning left. The promoter of the party, all he did was bitch about something. It was surreal. Like, shut up, bro. It's, it's already hard enough with these kids out here. You could tell. These kids are no older than 25, bro. And that's a problem. There were too many of them. You already knew the capacity was going to go over. It was a problem from hour one. From the moment we set up the ropes on each side of the line barricades, you just see these kids coming in droves. And it was a lot to deal with. Like, I see what them boys was going through outside, and man, if I were them, and hopefully they might have been on some telekinesis shit with me, I hope they were making money. And the one cat, the older cat that I seen pulling them other cats early in the night, I saw him hustling. He was getting dope. I wasn't mad at that, because you had to find some sort of semblance of control out there. You could tell we was going to get into some shit today. The energy. The seventh sense was screaming. 
If I was Peter Parker, my spider sense would probably leave my skin wrapped in my own web. It was that ridiculous. It was, it was retarded. It just wouldn't stop. And sure enough, here comes the fucking promoter down talking my guys on the outside like he's supposed to do that. And then the security, my nigga O, he wasn't having that. Like, listen, man, our business is our business. Let us do our job. You do yours. All right? And apparently the promoter didn't like that. So he had a few choice words for O and the rest of the team working outside. Don't be treating my people like this. Let my people in. Motherfucker. If the club can only hold so many people in it, I'm not letting everybody in. We're this close to reaching capacity, so be easy. Why don't you tell some of your people to chill? Like, give some of these people their money back or something, because we're not going to get all these people inside the club. Oh, man, bro. And then the people, we started to turn away. They start getting stupid. Oh, why the f***? Bro. There's so many people inside. Maybe you have to wait till some people leave before we can even let you in. So you already knew it was a problem. There were folks that were being turned away already cursing us out. The threats, the jaw jacking, the, the screaming. These guys outside, they were really taking that shit. Until one of them swung on my man O. That's when all of the bouncers outside, and there was at least five of them beating the kid down. It didn't even make a difference because dudes, apparently friends of his, came over and tried to fight the bouncers who were already mad. One of them bouncers grabbed a barricade and was spinning it around and around and around, knocking the in the head. So yeah. <laughs> It gets ridiculous when we're doing security or bouncing. This is what bouncers have to go through. There's always some idiot wanting to pick a fight with us. And then when we beat their ass, we're wrong. So apparently we were wrong for beating that kid's ass. Nice, right? Here comes the fucking promoter again. Oh, why y'all did that to my mans? That's my mans in them. Your mans in them? started to fight with us. They swung on my mans and them. My mans and them had to defend ourselves. So you can only imagine. Thankfully, a lot of those kids did not want the violence, but the two or three of them that did, we gave them exactly what they wanted. This is 2004. Yeah, cell phones were out. And you know these little Souls. That's exactly what they did. They got on their fucking cell phones and called in the Calvary. So my man Q and O and O had his brother there that night and all that. The Admiral wasn't there that night, but Poochie was. Ross was there. And at least three of these guys were packing. So as soon as we peeped the little assholes, we just fucked up. And we thought we got rid of them because we didn't see them for like an hour or two, right? Here they come back with like 20 dudes. That was a scary situation. Q was the first one to pull out like any of you motherfuckers. Do anything stupid right now, I'm blowing one of y'all fuckers' heads off. But y'all jump my man to them though. <laughs> the owner saw fit to call police. And he was right to do that. Because people started pulling out their guns, a lot of screaming and yelling. This f face of a promoter, he's bouncing in and out like a pinball, screaming, yelling. Yo, why y'all f***ing up my party? Put your shit away. Fucking shit. Every time I do a party, fucking shit. Y'all niggas always f*** up my shit. And we're looking at this asshole like, Every time, each and every time. So we're hoping in the back of our minds upon watching this stupid shit that the owner takes heed to never, ever book this guy again. It was a crowded party. And that VIP, there were bottles being popped in there. And the bouncer holding down that velvet rope was cool. The guy holding down the bathroom, he seemed to be okay. 
I was floating, making sure those that needed to go to the bathroom or whatever the hell that needed me to hold their spot down while they did their business, I did all that. I made sure everybody got a turn. And, you know, the police came after the whole viciousness of the fight and dudes pulling out guns, threatening each other. And then the fight breaks out in the middle of the fucking dance floor. Two bitches, two women. I'm sorry, I get frustrated. <laughs> These chicks were busy ripping each other's blouses. He's swinging everywhere. Good thing the bouncers were real quick, jumped on a scene real fast, separated the two girls. And this is why I say never bring your girl to the fucking club. What's the matter with these niggas? Dude gets mad at one of the bouncers for holding this girl down, trying to cover her up with his jacket. That's my girl. Uh uh uh. He's trying to fight the bouncer. <laughs> his colleagues, my colleagues, we got into that one before anything else started, and we coaxed the guy to calm his ass down, which he did eventually. When he saw mountains of men surrounding him, bouncers ran into the VIP, breaking up all the fights going on in there. There was bottles being smashed over people's heads. Got the bus boys to pick up all the loose bottles, all them shits the fuck out of there. Bouncers that saw empty bottles, we grabbed them shits and threw them in the garbage, breaking up fight after fight after fucking fight. Then finally, the end of the fucking night. DJ was a fucking asshole. He played well past four o'clock in the morning. That was fucking cool. We're getting everybody the fuck out, but the fucking DJ still playing music. I am alerting the DJ. I am shouting at the DJ at this point. Turn that shit off. Finally, the DJ cuts it off at about four forty fucking five. Now is when the DJ want to pack his shit, put his shit away. It, it, it's going on five in the fucking morning, y'all. How disrespectful is these motherfuckers? And then for this asshole fucking promoter to be like, No, I hate the way y'all work today. Y'all suck. Fuck y'all. I want to make sure y'all never work with me again. And I'm like, damn. It's gotten to the point where the bouncers went ahead and screamed on him. Yo, man, fuck you. You and your whole fucking team. Y'all want to fight us? That's enough of y'all. That's enough of us. Let's go. Real ugly. It took for me, me having the biggest mouth, to say, Yo, can I get my punk ass $100 so I can get the fuck out of here? This fucking promoter heard me say that, and then he says, That's all you get? Well, God, you motherfuckers ain't trying to pay shit. You see? Why the f are you paying these niggas only a hundred dollars? Why are you only paying me? What the f you trying to give me? No, f this. This is bullshit. Ah. I begged the owner to give me my fucking money. I begged him. I cajoled him. I said, give me my punk ass one hundred dollars, please. Yeah, owner was out there with a shot, giving everybody, <laughs> breaking everybody off. It was ridiculous. All right. Man, as soon as we got our money, boy, did we blow the f out of there, man. Because if I, if I would have stayed there another minute longer, bro, I would have had to punch him in his face with my fucking boot. So, yeah, folks, that was yet another adventure over at Metricopolis. Talk to y'all later. When I think about the assholes we have to currently deal with without the invasion ever taking place, mind you, it's that much more insulting when we the people have to take in these people from other countries that fucking hate us, yet as patriots, we have to take these hateful people into our communities, running roughshod of the little bit of resources we have that the government leaks to us. Oh sure, they open the leak up a little more to make sure these illegals get what they're supposed to get. How about we? What are we supposed to get? That leads me to conclude that this is all done by design. 
This is all done by design. We the people who lived in the ghetto for our entire life are supposed to be pissed at this. These motherfucking illegals are strategically put in our hoods to piss us off and be angrier than we've already been to cause mayhem, melee, and what have you. These things are supposed to happen. It's been in the cards. Which is why, come election day this year, get these motherfuckers out of office. You fucking people forget that you serve us, not the other way around. You bitch ass motherfuckers. You bastards will rather shut down TikTok, a platform some of us content creators use in some cases to make ends meet. Shut that down, but won't close the border or crime, right? Got it. Good. That is the American way. And it's a lot. And it's a fucking lot, bro. All designed to make us lose our mind if we let it. To think as a member of Generation X, me and folks like me were all about USA, 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 when this whole fucking time USA have been the heels we cheered on as baby faces. Boy, do I feel like an all-around American boss, and eh? A lot of us feel that way. We love our country, but we hate our government. And if you're anything like me, and would like to join forces down the line sometime, go to www.solo.to forward slash RGMC 2407. Go to PayPal, Cash App, YouTube channel, Facebook group, X, Threads, IG, or send an email to the Gmail at RGMC 2407. Visit the Art of Bounce podcast YouTube channel and be so kind to like, share, and subscribe there or follow the podcast on FourceFed Digital via Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, or wherever you tune into your favorite podcasts. Speaking of force-fed digital, get with my folks Jay Dukes, Fred Mack, and Beretta Bronson on From Common Sense to Nonsense. Join Gas Logic as he hosts Sports Not Fiction, my Bronx story featuring Kingsbridge Rich, Bust Stupid Dope Moves, coming soon, and of course, R4, bringing it raw to you and yours on The Art of Bounce. Friends, join T-U-R-N, the United Ronin Networks, to listen to the uncensored versions of the Bounce Pod today. Because, hey, me and my people always have something to say. My fellow city dwellers, sad how our cities have fallen victim to ugliness these past few years with no signs of letting up. This is why we, the people, must take charge because if we wait, on anybody or anything to do something, we'll be waiting two forevers while the world around us gets even worse. We can't have it. Security personnel, bouncers, guards, officers, you deserve a little bit of love because things are only getting harder. Remain just as righteous, but get a little smarter. Be safe. <laughs>